just have to prepare for his giant and other beatdown style decks. Colton's going to take out a second. Like, you with me? You like, with me? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we are. Game one of the oh! finals of the 2017 Invitational. Best of five, you guys. This is the championship matchup. Oxalate versus Colton. Tribe Gaming versus Team Queso. BB, oh. Twitter is having a huge... A uh, lot of celebrations. Are you, is this your first time casting since Toronto Northern Arena, I believe, last Montre year? Well, I guess Montreal, Montreal was Northern second. Arena. Did Toronto and then Montreal, but yes, it has been quite a while. You're getting a lot of compliments on Twitter Yay. for your exceptional casting skills. It's been great to work oh. this show with you. Likewise. I'm excited to finally cast with you. You know I'm always over there hosting, so it's good to actually work with you directly. Yeah, instead of just having to throw it to you from across the room. Now, early opening push here for Oxlade goes really well. Colton pumps oh, up there's uh, the goal and gets punished for it. It looks like, oh, oh Colton says good game good here game. for game one because he doesn't have an answer to the info. Oh, he's got a zap. That's not enough. It's just going to heat right back up yeah, is the problem. Right. You, you need, that's why lightning was so popular in golem decks because lightning would actually lightning. take that out, right? It would, it would reset it and finish it. Those hog lightning decks are a thing of the past now. So early lead for Oxalate, and now the pump is gone, so Colton is also missing the Elixir advantage that he was building up on. He didn't defend that early bandit because he just thought, like, okay, I'm going to take my Elixir lead, and then I'll put my uh, Golem down, and, and I'll turn it around. Didn't quite work out for him uh, in that first push, but we're just 30 seconds away from double Elixir time. Ooh, it looks like Colton was predicting that Oxalate was going to drop that Miner on the pump, but he faked him out a little bit and dropped the Miner on the tower. Very good psych out there. That's one of my like favorite Miner plays is when it clearly looks like they're going for the Elixir Collector, yeah. but then they drop the, the poison and go somewhere else because then you end up taking out the, the Collector, really, and you get the troops while your Miner gets a ton of damage. He's just got now a 600 damage lead on that bottom right tower. It's an early lead for Oxalate. And he read that really well. He had the Goblin Gang yes. already set up for the punish before the Golem even came oh. out. He knew that Golem was going to hit Here and just tower. takes down the tower. Oxalate up a tower. He just needs to stop this Golem push because mm. with only 45 seconds left, if you played another Golem right now behind the King Tower, it wouldn't hit. So yes. this is this is it. It's your last shot. That poison not quite hitting the Inferno Tower, which hurts just a little bit. The tower is locked onto that golem, just melting it down. But you know what? That Inferno Dragon is still alive. As is the Cannon Car. Cannon Car gets stopped at the river, but Inferno Dragon, you're right, can definitely lock onto the tower and be a huge threat. Good thing that the Crown Tower locks onto it, because if it was uh, focusing anything else, that Inferno Dragon would have been dangerous. Smart move by Colton, though, realizing yep. that's what he needs to do, is to... Get, is to uh, get another Inferno Dragon down. That's sort of his last best hope to turn this around because Golem is no longer going to do it. And remember, guys, Ewiz is banned for this matchup, so that kind of leaves it open for that Inferno Dragon to kind of take over. Inferno Dragon is going to look really good, but Oxalate looks better as he goes up 1-0 in Ooh. this series. Wow, game number one, not even to overtime. And no offense to Oxalate, I think he played that really in like yes. a very uh, control style deck. So it's possible that Oxalate's just going to play anti beatdown control this whole match and force Colton to either outplay a bad matchup or switch to a less uh, powerful deck. All right, so it looks like a cycle to start from Colton. He drops the Ice Spirit down, and then we have an Ice Wizard down from Oxalate here. Ooh, a Miner from Colton. You just, just called it. All right, so he's chipping away. Oxalate kind of living. Oh, snap. Oxalate with the Exo. I like it. I like it. The poison comes down from Colton hitting the Expo and the tower. Not quite hitting the Ice Wizard, but he tried. it looks like maybe he's trying to log for the damage, maybe to push him back into there. But this Exo is locked onto the tower. Won't get too, too much damage, but it's, certainly a big chunk. It's so hard to predict Expo damage, because even when it has a tiny little sliver of health, it just keeps shooting. It just doesn't die. Uh, and it gets that tower down to under 1,800 damage. Oxalate says, oops. Not really sure why oops. But here comes Miner plus Goblin Gang coming in. The Ice. Oh, no, the Ice. OK. Ooh, Ice Wizard kind of gets overwhelmed very quickly, though. And Colton is able to get a little bit of damage onto that tower. I don't know if we're going to see another Expo come out or not. He does get another Expo. The Princess has got to get hey, blocked for or else he he's going to get shot knight. down. There There's the Knight. But it's going backwards. Oh, Princess lives. He does have a log, though, so that's a big help against that Princess. Yeah, you don't usually, I mean, you can log Princess, but you don't want to because this Expo is going to kill him right away. Oh, that's and the Miner comes out the back, so he has to true. log it eventually. But the Princess can usually, uh, or the Expo kills Princess in like three yes. shots and then goes right back to uh, shoot Whatever the tower. <laughs> so if you can just get that for free, that is the sort of um, game tilting plays that an Expo deck could pull off. Yes. And the Mega Minion's going to counterattack. I don't know if it's going to reach the tower. Looks like it is going to be ignored. Uh, from Colton's standpoint, Oxalate's just going to take down one tower, not two. So getting him to split up his damage anyway is like probably fine. Yes. 
know what I've noticed is Colton hasn't played Rocket at all, so he's got Poison mm. instead of, he's got, he's got Minor sure. Poison. It's Minor Poison, not Rocket. Um, so maybe he's trying to hold the Minor and the Poison uh, for the Expo, but at some point you got to make some sort of offensive attack ah. and just let it happen. That's a good Poison right there, though. Yes, it is. All right, so the, the Knight is tanking for that Expo, taking all the damage so it doesn't hit the tower. Princess hitting the, hitting the Ice Golem, but... Shuts it down. Exo doesn't get any damage on Colton's tower. Very good defense there. That's exactly what you want to do. He used Princess, was actually splashing on the uh, the Ice Golem and the the Expo, getting in a little bit more damage in there. Another great poison. Oh, yes. We can all Look at that, that value. He's forcing a log, ideally, I imagine, to like a kind of a bad area. So yeah. Not the word. Oh, Miner pops up, hits it. These, check this out. The Oxalate cycles so quick, he's already back to an Expo. Oh, nice. You could just drop another one right here yep. if you wanted to. That's what he did. As soon as that push was done, Oxlade just dropped another one, keeping the pressure on Colt. But you, normally you don't want to play an Expo first. You you want, like, wow, there's the log comes through. But you want some other support troops. You want the tank out front. You want the Mega yeah. Minion already down. Something log to protect it. Yeah, just because a, a lone Expo can easily be countered. You sort of need yes. all the support troops so that whatever you play, you just walk into the trap of whatever's already there. This is kind of a hard matchup, once again, for Colton, because he's having to use his Miner over and over again to defend against this Expo instead of being able to send it into Oxlade's tower. Ooh. Rocket coming down. I think that makes sense, though, for Oxlade. I actually, the longer the game goes on, I think Colton has the good strategy because both towers are pretty low now. Even yeah. if Oxlade switches lanes, um, that minor poison's going to do really, really well. Skeletons get picked off. I also think uh, Colton has read that there's not a lot of things that can defend his minor. I mean, Ice Golem, Ice Wizard, like, the skeletons aren't going to work because of the poison. You know, it's interesting, too, that he's had Rocket this whole time, but he hasn't rocketed the Expo whatsoever. Because there, I mean, I feel no, like the. You know, he doesn't have Rocket. Oh, uh, I'm thinking has the opposite. You're I, right. I, I did the same thing. Too. I was like, wait a second. <laughs> I, I, I thought that I was like, yeah, he doesn't have rocket. Then I was like, oh, it's a minor poison deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm thinking Oxlade's rocket. Oh, that's a nice push. The knight tanking for the damage of these spirit goblins. They're at least getting some kind of damage on the tower. And Holy moly, look at Oxlade's left side tower. And Oxlade yeah, gets in the way. He's going to get one more rocket. And here's the thing if he can just defend the rest of the time and yes. hold off and catch the next miner, I think he's in good shape because he's just got to cycle back. There's. He just needs that one more rocket. Princess gets down Ooh, there. One more Ice poison Wizard holds the line. It's no, going to be a rocket race. or a poison. It's at a rocket this point. right here. Yep, I think so. Ah, oh, the miner comes down, but so does the It rocket. gets frozen in place! Oh, wow. Good play! Two. Good prediction. Yeah. That prediction by Action did come back tight up, but it's just, yes. it's just tough to beat any player three games in a row. I think Oxley did a really good job with the bands pre-match. I think he won the pre-match uh, aspect of it, and now he's just got to close it out. Both, though, open with pumps, so this is going to be a gentleman's Ooh. game of Clash Royale, as both of them are pumping up for something real big and scary. What could it be? Could nice. Oxlate be running three Musketeers? Uh, maybe Colton's gone back to Golem again. You know? Oxlate likes Golem, too, so this could even be a Golem matchup. Ooh, looks like Colton's playing three Musketeers. Musketeers. That's what it looks like to me. Here comes that Inferno Dragon. We know Ewiz is banned, so it kind of leaves it open for him. Really good push nice. here for Colton Oxley. says, oops. Is that Miner going to turn around? Oh, he does. He goes to the King Tower. Oops, oh, he said oops because he defensive poison. I thought that was an offensive oh, poison. So did I. Yeah, I think oh, it's, it, was wow. so, it was so bizarre to see what? it as a as a, a, a defensive poison crazy. there. My bad. Yeah, wow. I think it was just a mistake. I, yeah. He said, oops, he's mad. Yes. Ah, Colton, okay. Colton's towers haven't even been touched yet. Oxlade dropping the good game early, it looks like. I mean, you never know what can happen, but this is a very early lead for Colton. And this is uh, what I think Oxlade, the kind of lead that Oxlade had in game one yes. to uh, take that little push there. Now, we said earlier, right, this is the kind of little mistakes that you just hope for. Like, you, mm -hmm. you obviously can't build your game plan around your opponent making mistakes, but at this level, if they do, you have the knowledge and the tools to capitalize on it and push through. All right, so it looks like it is three Musketeers. After all, he drops him in the back. Poison going on the side. He's choosing to take out the pump and the Musketeer instead of going for the two Musketeers going on the left-hand side. So who knows what I mean, I'm guessing Oxlade's last card is probably Golem, and it surely is. That's a tough, I mean, I like that you're using Golem to tank the Musketeers, but it's just so hard because the minions are on one side, the Musketeers mm -hmm. on the other. Like, you don't have anything shooting the Musketeers, so they're just right. going to kill this Golem. The best thing the Golem might do is blow up between the two of them. Right, but still not take them out. Ugh, yeah, that's a really brutal. Oxlade finds uh. himself really far behind. Uh, yes, this does. might even end up being a three crown because you can use so much of a of a negative elixir trade early on. All right, so that tower is down. He's already got some troops heading into the king tower there, but of course, Candacart tucked in the back. 
Shooting away. Now maybe, okay, I was going to say, if he drops the golem at the river here because the three musketeers mm -hmm. got split, he can mm -hmm. focus later on dealing with those two yes. musketeers and instead just go all in right here. The mega minion's actually in a good spot taking out uh, minions one at a time. And that golem is going to connect along with the goblins. This might be a tower trade. For sure it might, but of course Colton is still ahead here. All right. seconds left. Oxlade's still fighting. I think, you know, I think uh, maybe Oxley should have gone in more of a three crown push. Like, yeah. But I think he actually might get three crowns before that happens. Yeah, I think you might be right. Because he definitely doesn't have... Uh... Yeah, went in yep. for the base there race. You go. Couldn't do it. Ooh. Colton, the start of a Ooh, comeback. Yes. Remember, the bands are Graveyard and Electro Wizard. Yes. So we cannot see those cards at all in this matchup. Hopefully the players don't forget. I know it's, it's tough in a best know, of five. Forget. I do not want right to see a game hands. lose to bands. So this, like Rumhand said, is game number four. So Oxlet with two wins under his belt so far and Colton with one. So Colton does have to win this matchup in order for it to go to a game number five and potentially take the win today. If Oxlet wins this, then he shall win our Invitationals and be heading to London. I think if Oxalate's playing Lava Loon, then I think he's in a really good position to take this game away. Lava Hound is one of those decks that has a great matchup against Hog Rider. Hog Rider will usually take the first tower, but then once it hits double elixir time, you just can't stop the Lava Hound push. But we'll see if that's the case. Could be another deck. Could be Golem yeah. as well. Or, oh yeah, Graveyard's fans. No Graveyard. Uh, it looks like it might be the same Golem deck Yes, as last I think time. so. Seeing that Cannon Cart, it's kind of a telltale sign now. So, though, early damage lead for Colton as he is black-eyed both top left and top right tower, doing about 500 damage each. Meanwhile, Oxalate does get to his pump. Look, he was really deep in the field. Colton is out of Hog Rider cycle. It's, the Hog Rider's not in his hand yes. right now. He can't punish. He can't punish it right away. Instead, he's going to go for the poison instead. For poison, for poison. Cycling back to the Hog Rider. It's great. You know, sometimes it's kind of risky to pump sometimes. Uh, but I think Oxalate is one of those players who he understands Colton's hand and understand, okay, that hog is not in his hand because if you pump and you're low elixir and they drop that hog, you could potentially get punished by it and not have anything to defend against it. And golem is the same thing, right? Like you, you go really low elixir when you play your golem and that's why we're seeing this big push. And then look how effective it is getting it down wow. to triple digits. But that's a lot of elixir spent that's not dealing uh, with the golem. Now the Inferno Dragon, great solution here. Uh, don't have the Electro Wizard, so you know the golem's gonna be good. Now will the cannon card lock on instead? Nope. Oh, wow. That Inferno Dragon just completely shut that down. And Cannon it Cart's does get in range. Though. And the, remember, the shield resets the Inferno Dragon. That's a new uh, little mechanical change after the last balance update. So that allowed it to get a few more shots. Defensive poison, or no, offensive poison. Yeah, interesting. Just off that tower. He just used that poison, kind of giving it up uh, instead of using it on Axel's pump. And I like this push a lot more because with the uh, offensive poison plus the Mega Minion and uh, whatever, like the... the Inferno Dragon's just not going to be as strong. Oh, Mega Knight Mega comes Knight. down, the wow. last card in the deck. And he has just 25 seconds, Oxalate does, to take that tower. But so far, Colton looks like he is in the driver's seat to yes, push this is. to a game five. Oh, oh, oh. Oxalate says, good game. We got 17 seconds left in this matchup. Good poison from Colton, getting lots of value on this tower, draining it down. He doesn't even need that second tower yet, but it looks like he just solidifying his position here to win this match. And, and once again, Inferno it. Tower dictates a matchup. There was no good answer to Inferno Dragon in that no. deck. And Oxalate should know that more than anyone because he won game one like that, right? Yes. Using God, God Slayer to the Spring North American Finals. True. His Lava Rocket deck, the rocket was there solely because execution. Yes. Okay, here we go, you guys. Match number five between Oxalate and Colton. Whoever wins this is heading to London for the World Grand Championship Finals. He goes in for an early punish. The log's gonna come through and knock out some of them and hit the golem. Battle Ram comes out for defense. It looks like Oxlade is playing Minor yes. Poison. Colton looks like he's running three Musketeers. Yep, I would assume you are right. So who's favored in that matchup? That's mm. a tough one to say. I know. It depends on how they play, I suppose. Colton's got to be really happy that he blocked that first Minor. Because oh, yeah. if that Minor had gotten onto the tower and destroyed it, that would be, I think, a, a favorable position for Oxlade. But Colton did get out a pump, and he's got a second one out already. All right. So I think in a matchup like this, sometimes it's almost beneficial to wait until double elixir to play those three musketeers just because you are investing nine elixir as soon as you claim. Or not. That's cool, Colton. <laughs> well, I think he did because there was no like punish coming right after. He does have two right pumps, after. though. Ooh, that tornado's oh, not going to work. Is it going to pull in the same work. lane? It yes. does. So now Log Princess can take them out. That is a really good play for most spell bait decks, but the Princess gets turned around. Is the Log going to be effective? Log does come oh, down, but unless there's splash damage, it's not really is it as good. Connect? It's not turned on to the battle room. 
Oh, the Batarum just barely does not connect because of that Goblin Gang. Great zap, though. Oh, look, look at, at this the Musketeers! Damage. Holy moly, Colton. Colton, okay. W83, Ooh. one minute and 20 seconds into this game, takes oh, down Oxalix's tower, wow. and he's looking to complete the reverse sweep three games in a row after being down 0-2 to punch his ticket to the World Finals. He would be uh, Team Queso's only representative, I think, I think I could be wrong about that, so. but I know that they expected to have a lot more players out of the European region. It was a disappointment for the team when he didn't make it in the North American finals. So now Oxlade has to really turn up the heat. He has a minute left to turn this around. Colton did very well with this deck uh, in the earlier games that we saw in this matchup. And so I think it was a wise choice for him to bring it back. I mean, if it's working for you, then go for it. Stick with that. Yeah, there's no reason to like out psych it. So here's all oh, the all oh, zap comes down and hurts it. Tornado's pulling a lot of this away. And I don't. Oxlet's tornado. Oh yeah, so I'm not really sure. If he, I don't think he can even do 1400 damage. Like, I'm trying to think. Literally, he'd have to have like almost an undefended push. And because mm -hmm. Colton always has the opportunity to just drop three musketeers in the middle, um, it's it's going to be really really hard for Oxlet oh, to pull off. He's got to keep the speed seconds. up. Oh, he actually. has got to like get a quick push. I think his best bet is going to be to something like drop the miner, drop the smaller troops, and let them kind of come into the tower while the miners hit, but with 10 seconds, I think this is going is it? to be good. Colton is just five seconds away from going Four, to the World Finals three, after a disappointing two, fall season. One. He wins the 2017 Woo! Invitational. Colton W83 from the heart of Texas to Texas. the beaches of California. Next stop, London, London. England. Woo! You are going to the Copper Box Arena to compete for the World Championship.